Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, that way you know when all the new content comes out. Uh, got a lot of good stuff, unboxing, fishing videos. We're gonna do some on the water demos, stuff like that when we get a little warmer. Um, just go over what we've got. Uh, today we're gonna go over this Six Cents unboxing uh, of the monthly subscription I do for these guys. And uh, they always send some good stuff, so I like to get on here and show you guys what we get for the for the money and uh, maybe it's something you guys want to look into doing. So stick around and let's get to this. You know, they always come in this velvet bag that's black this month. Always a mixture of hard baits and uh, soft plastics and terminal stuff like that. So we'll see what we got in here. It's a Crush Mini uh, 25 MD. So this one's the thread fin shad. It's a four to seven foot diving bait. Crack this thing open. Take a look at it. Show you guys the colors on this. Red Fin Shad looks really good. Six cents as usual. You got those sticky hooks and those crazy good paint jobs with the you got the, the green and the blues on the back. And you got your gold lines on the side, gold on the front. Put your little kill spot on here for your shad. Next in here, we've got a Provoke 106 Silent Deep Diver, and it's in the Ghost Bone Minnow. And this color right here, I love this color. It's a lot like the uh, one we just looked at, the color of the Threadfin Shad. You've got that that ghost bone on the bottom and translucent back. I don't know how much that actually shows up, but uh, it's just a little more opaque matte finish than that thread fin shad. But you've still got that green and that blue on the back. A little bit of that darker on the front here. You got your three hooks. That's going to be the the deep diver. I think it's four to eight, not four to seven feet. It's a five eight ounce bait. Uh, completely silent. You don't have any rattles in that thing whatsoever. You just, all you can hear is the, the hooks when I shake that thing. So get out and throw this thing around some of these suspended fish and uh, see if we can't get into a few. I do really like that on the bottom of these baits. I don't know how well you're going to be able to make that out. but it actually tells it's a 106 silent deep diver and uh, four to seven feet. So you're not having to dig through your box and, and kind of kind of help stay organized a little bit because you're anything like me when you get out on that water, throwing stuff around, throwing it in the box, grabbing something different, you kind of forget what's what. And sometimes with these crankbaits, it's, it's harder to differentiate which one's diving, which depth. So being able to have that written on the bottom of it is pretty sweet, I think. Next up, we've got a Movement 80X, and this is a, a one to three foot. I haven't fished any of these movements, but I've read some really good stuff about them, so I'm excited to get out and try this thing. And what it's supposed to be is, it's supposed to have a lot wilder action without having to deflect off cover like a lot of normal crankbaits. So it's got that erratic hunting action without actually having to be hitting the rocks or the, the underwater structure to, to get that, that movement and that hunting action. So we'll get out and we'll throw this thing and uh, put the camera down there and see how much of a difference this is versus normal crankbait action. It's got the one big uh, BB in here, so like a one knocker, but that'll help with casting that thing. 
And this is that copper green shad color. The bottom is just a, a translucent uh, belly. And then you've got the, the copper with the, the green top. <laughs> I got the, the pearl belly on that thing. Excited to get out and, and try this one and, and see what that action does on that thing. Uh oh. Got one of the new Duke 55 lipless crankbaits. And this one's in the chrome with the black back. I like these smaller crank or lipless crankbaits. If I can get this thing open, I'll show it to you. I've been throwing quite a bit of lipless lately, and I've been, they've been wanting that Quake action. Uh, Six Sense has the, the Quake, the Duke, and uh, the Snatch. And that Quake has a little bit faster startup than the other ones from what I've seen so far. It really starts vibrating, and it's a lot louder action. But this is, a little bitty tiny guy, little 55 millimeter chrome black back. Uh, these things, let's see how much this one weighs. I don't think it tells the weight on this one. Oh, yeah, it's 3 8 ounces. So, get out there and chunk this thing around and see what we can do. See if we can't put some fish in the boat with that. Next up, we have some spinnerbait trailer hooks. So that tells me that there's going to be some spinnerbaits in here because anytime they put anything like this in here, they've always got something to go with it. These uh, spinnerbait trailer hooks, they have the little rubber coating on the uh, eye so it holds that on that spinnerbait a little better. Slide one of these out, give you a look. It's got that, that rubber coating, so when you put it over the back of that spinner bait, that thing hangs on there better and helps to catch those fish that are short striking at those spinner baits. And those work really well, especially if you, a lot of, I know a lot of people like to fish their spinner baits without a trailer. I typically like to put a trailer on mine, but uh, I know a lot of people that that fishing without a trailer, so putting that, that extra hook on there, even with your trailer, would, would help out. So, uh, might be something to try. I've never really used those spinnerbait uh, trailer hooks, so we'll give those things a shot and, and see how that helps with the hook up on it. And then we've got the half ounce Divine Spinnerbait. And this one is the white and chartreuse, and it's got the, uh, the gold blade and the, the silver willow blade. And I'm liking that. Plus, it has the uh, screw lock system that they do on the on the jig head to help hold that on there a little better. And on the back tells you a little bit about it: hand tied skirt and screw lock, swivels, and all that good stuff. So, uh, just gives you a little bit of info on it. And this is a half ounce, and uh, this is the Chartreuse Flash, is what this one's called. So, if anybody wants to pick that up, that's the color on that. And then I think this is it. The last we've got is the Divine Shaky Worms. So anybody that likes to get out and throw a shaky head, these are the cosmic black color. Let's take some of these out and show you. Looks a lot like a June bug color because there's so much flash in this thing. But, just to try to show some of that off. Maybe you can see a little bit of it. It's got like a hue of purple to it, but it is a black bait that's just got a lot of purple and red and, and silver flake in there. And that thing is gonna look good. So, being able to get out and, and try these things. I'm excited to get out on the water and, and see what we can do. Uh, one more thing I did pick up. Two more things I did pick up. I got me some uh, 50 pound Power Pro braid. I really like this stuff. Uh, I throw this on all my frogs and a lot of my jigs and stuff. So 
Um, I got that new, if you watched the last video, I got that new dial with the Tula uh, 100. I'll tie this on there and that'll be my new frog reel. Uh, it's supposed to be a little better beefed up gears inside that thing. So um, I'll use that as my frog reel and, and see how it does and see what I think about it. Now I'll, I'll report back and give a little bit of info on that as I, as I test that thing out and get to use it a little bit. And then also, I have the six inch version of this coal shed, but I wanted one of the big ones. So I went out and grabbed this guy and these things. If you've not fished these, I highly recommend giving them a shot. If you don't have the gear to throw the, the big two and I think this is two and three quarter ounce. Yeah, yeah, this big eight inch one's two and three quarter ounce. Uh, the six inch is a lot smaller. It's like throwing that smaller mag draft. You can throw it on regular setup, you know, just your jig rod or whatever. You can take that thing out and throw it, and you don't have to worry about uh, this hook's actually hung up in here. Uh, you don't have to worry about going out and buying anything designated to throw this bigger stuff. But this one being two and three quarter ounce, I've got this uh, Dobbins Fury that I got for four swim baits and be able to throw this thing on there. Plus I have a, a couple more rods that I could use. But one thing I really like about these coal sheds is this hook system that they have here. So the, you got the treble hook with a swivel so it can break free and you're not fighting that fish with this all up in its mouth. But the, the swim bait will actually come out of his mouth and, and you've got the swivel so he doesn't have as much leverage on you. But instead of having just that magnet in the belly, it's got this little keeper here. And you just take and put one of those eyes or one of those hook barbs down in the belly, snap that thing in, and it works really well to hold that in while you're skipping these up under docks or up under any kind of brush and uh, bring this thing out of there. But you can see the action on that tail and these things have that honeycomb tail and all that's just it helps to give that extra action. The thing I like about these over a mag draft is there is no set retrieve speed. You can take this thing and uh, not just a mag draft, I mean even the uh, six cents uh, hangover. I've got one right here that's already open. So Got one right here that's already open. We'll take this thing out and show you. This thing, it's got a really stiff body on it. This is the medium sink version. And I mean, if you even watch the, the Millican videos, he'll tell you if you're not fishing this thing at the set speed that it's, it's set for, like you've got a perfect retrieve that you have to have these things on. And if you don't, this thing will come through the water like this. It just doesn't look good. But when you hit that perfect retrieve, this thing gets this head wobble and that tail to kick and thumping, and it looks really good in the water. And uh, the fast sink one is the easiest to fish out of these, uh, out of this brand, out of the Six Sense Hangovers. But that's what I like about this coal shad is there is no set retrieve. You throw that thing, wind it, and you're getting that, that head wobble, you're getting that, that tail kick. Um, it's just, it's a lot more user friendly to get out, throw it, chunk it and wind it and, and be done. And you can throw that thing around a lot of cover. The thing I do like about these hangovers is that top hook. Uh, I've got some of the 316 baits uh, that are top hooks as well. And I really like them, but being able to use that top hook, you can bring this thing down, you know, on the bottom and over cover where this coal shed or that mag draft you're not being able to do that so much because you've got that bottom hook. But fishing this stuff around cover, uh, these these coal sheds and these mag drafts is a, is a really big deal. So I really like getting out and throwing these things. And like I said, if you haven't started throwing these five and six inch swim baits yet, I highly recommend grabbing a few of them and getting out and trying them. This coal shed is gonna be your uh, most user friendly, most affordable. I think this, uh, this eight inch was $14.99. I think the the six inch is $11.99. So that's something, I mean, typical price of a lot of crankbaits and stuff anymore. So you can get these soft plastic swim baits, get out 
and uh, try these things out and catch some of those larger than average fish. Uh, also, these coal shads have this, that got the power bank sent in them, so that's something, uh, if you're a scent guy, that's some, something to add to it. Uh, but they are, they're really good to get out and sling around, and I'm looking forward to getting out and throwing this one. Um, but that's all I've got today, so uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and uh, hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Leave me some comments down below about what you think about any of this stuff. If you've thrown uh, any of these bigger swim baits like this, let me know which ones are your favorite, because... Again, this coal shad has been my go-to as far as getting out and throwing them, but if there's one that uh, performs better than that, I'd like to see it and, and get out and uh, give that thing a shot as well. Um, I know the mag drafts a really good option, but it's got that set speed as well, but it's got a little different action that sometimes those fish want. So having that mag draft on the boat is always um, gonna be a thing. But Leave me some comments down below uh, what you think about any of this stuff, if you've tried any of it. Uh, I've tried most of this stuff and all this is really good. The only one I've not really tried is that uh, Movement ADX and uh, this smaller Duke. But if you've tried it out, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And uh, I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time.